Narcissist Exboot reacts to Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. I am a narc survivor and I am a narcissist expert. I have been studying narcissistic personality disorder for over three years. During that time I have worked with hundreds of clients, including psychologists, psychotherapists and lawyers. I also have a YouTube channel with over 100,000 subscribers and over 24 million views. My expert opinion of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's relationship is based on my lifetime of personal experience and three years of research. I believe that Meghan Markle is someone who has high narcissistic traits. When she targeted Prince Harry, she was not looking for a relationship. She did not intend to love or respect him. She targeted him based on her own self-interest and needs. She was looking for power and control. She wanted the ability to direct and influence people's behavior and the course of events. Narcissists have to dominate people. They have to feel like they are in control. When a narcissist targets someone, they are looking for a person who is easy to control. A person who is easy to manipulate. And this is exactly what Meghan Markle did to Prince Harry. She had a plan of action designed to achieve a long-term result that is based on her own self-interest and needs. She targeted Prince Harry for a reason. He receives a lot of public attention. He is very wealthy. He has a high social and professional position. And Meghan saw this as a means to obtain power. She knew what type of person Prince Harry was. She knew that he was an empath. Narcissists deliberately target empathic people. They deliberately target people who show an ability to understand and share the feelings of another. While narcissists lack empathy, they lack the, the capacity to understand or feel what another person is experiencing which is how they can abandon people so easily. They will discard anyone who is no longer serving them. Anyone who is no longer doing what they want. Which is exactly what Megan has done in her past. Her father said in an interview with TMZ before Prince Harry and Meghan left the royal family. My daughter dumped me one day before she got married. She dumped my family. She's dumped Doria Ragland's family. She's dumped every family and now she's even dumping the British royal family. She divorced her ex-husband, Trevor Angelson, a few years before she met Prince Harry. Some reports say that they split up due to irre irreconcilable differences or that he couldn't cope with her fame. But there have been claims that have said Trevor is extremely unhappy with his ex-wife. He has been quoted as saying he was devastated and that he felt like a piece of gum at the bottom of his shoe. It has been said that his eyes blazed with anger whenever Megan's name was mentioned. Megan targeted Prince Harry because he is an empath. Like his mother, Princess Diana, he cares a lot about the causes that he is involved in 
and it can be seen in his interviews that he has a genuine concern for other people. Many of us have the desire to be recognised for our qualities and abilities. But this is something that narcissists see as a weakness. They see it as something that they can exploit. When Megan first met Prince Harry, she idealised him. She put him on a pedestal. She made him feel loved. Narcissists will be whatever they think you want them to be. They use a set of techniques known as cold reading. Without prior knowledge, they quickly obtain a great deal of information by analysing your body language, clothing, ethnicity, level of education and manner of speech. They make use of the high probability guesses and then pick up on signals on whether their guesses are in the right direction or not. They then emphasize and reinforce their chance connections and quickly move on from any missed guesses. Narcissists will call read what you want out of a relationship and then reflect it back to you. Meghan recognised that Prince Harry was looking for someone who was concerned with and seeking to promote human welfare. Someone who wanted to give assistance to people in need. Someone who was compassionate, generous and unselfish. Someone who was relaxed and not easily upset or worried. Someone who was low maintenance. Someone who is independent and not demanding a lot of attention. Someone who is down to travel to some of the most remote parts of the world. And this is the impression that she gave to him. Narcissists can manipulate people by compensating for their insecurities. By showing them they see them the way they want to be seen. Prince Harry was afraid of only being loved to being a prince or for being wealthy. So right from the beginning, Meghan acted as though she didn't know much about him. She acted as though she didn't care about his social or professional position. She acted as though she was only looking for someone who was kind. But as the relationship progresses, it gets to a stage where the narcissist wants you to do everything that they expect you to do. They want you to prioritise their needs and desires. They expect you to pay them back for all of the time that they invested into you. All of the time they spent making you feel loved. They want love from you and they also demand intense loyalty. Prince Harry was made to display his loyalty to Meghan by defending her against his family. Narcissists expect you to prioritise their needs and desires. They expect you to prioritise their emotions. And they will try to isolate you from your friends and family. This is why Prince Harry is always trying to defend Meghan. He does whatever she wants. A narcissist will make you do whatever they think will help them win. But they will never let you feel like they are winning. Because they always want more. So they will guilt trip you into doing what they want. By playing the victim. Meghan wanted Prince Harry to think that everyone was against her. Everyone was harassing her. She wanted him to see it as though she gave up her entire life for him. 
and now her career isn't going anywhere. And this makes you feel guilty. If you care and love for them, you don't want to see them hurt or upset. You want to fix all of their problems. You want to protect them. And the narcissist loves it when you do this. They want you to spend all of your time trying to fix things for them. They want you to defend and support them. They want you to give them all the love that they could ever have wanted. But this stage doesn't last for long. It's only a matter of time until the narcissist gets bored. They don't want love and respect. They just want to feel like they're in control. They want to feel like they have power over you. And that is why they always end up devaluing you. It will feel like an emotional roller coaster. They will put you down. They will deliberately be unfriendly to you. They will give you the silent treatment while making you think that nothing is wrong. While making you think it's all in your head. But it will make you feel miserable. The narcissist will switch back and forth between love bombing and devaluation. Their behavior gradually gets worse and worse. They play on your insecurities. It makes you wonder what you did wrong. You don't expect this behavior from someone you love. So it makes you work even harder because you want the good times to come back. It creates an addiction. At this point, some people will just leave. They're not going to want to tolerate this behavior. But if you do try to leave, the narcissist will make you feel guilty. They will play the victim role. They will act like you are abandoning them. They will act like they are going through a difficult time. They will act like they need your help and support. And if they're really cruel, they will even blame you for what they're going through. They will do whatever it takes to re-establish their sense of control. But even if you do stay, eventually they will get bored. You will no longer be their primary focus. And they will be looking for someone else. Prince Harry is not at this stage with Meghan yet, but she has done this many times before. She did this to her ex-husband Trevor Angelson and also her ex-boyfriend Corey Vitiello. She was dating Corey when she first met Prince Harry and their relationship ended just weeks before she started seeing him. It has been said that although Meghan and Corey were in a serious relationship, it hit the rocks when Corey began to tire of her increasingly prima donna like behavior, which is typical behavior of a narcissist. They are very temperamental, they are liable to unreasonable changes of mood and they have an inflated view of their own talent and importance. They think they are more talented and important than they actually are. They are disapproving and difficult to please. They are vain and consider themselves too good to do certain tasks or live under conditions they consider to be inadequate. Their difficult behavior can be very annoying and this is what made Corey very upset. Rumors state that Megan even took credit for Corey's pasta dish. Her limelight stealing killed their connection.
it can be distressing to be discarded by a narcissist. But it is actually the best thing that can happen other than walking out yourself. When the narcissist discards you, it means you're finally free. They might try to hoover you. They might tell you they miss you. But this is only because they don't want you to move on. They just want to keep you on their shelf in case they need you in the future. They don't want to be with you, but they don't want you to stop thinking about them. Narcissists use your ability, ability to empathize with people against you. But being an empath isn't a bad thing. It doesn't mean that people are always going to exploit you. It just means that narcissistic people will try to use these qualities against you. Which is why it is so important to educate yourself in this disorder. Check out my other videos about narcissists. And please share them with anyone who you believe may help. If you are interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I will talk to you soon.